the home of Saturday Night Live, and uh, Charles Barkley going to be hosting for the fourth time this weekend, and we are joined now by the guys who, uh, who co-anchor Weekend Update. Uh, Michael Che is here, and uh, Colin Jost is here. Guys. This is Thank exciting. Thank you so much. Is this? Is this? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's weird because it's like we do this all the time. So to do this part of it is kind of cool. Yeah. No? I understand that you're excited when Charles comes to town to do this, that the whole crew is excited. <laughs> we are. Could you explain yeah. this phenomenon? Yeah, man. Free cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, I, I tell you what, man. It is uh, one of the more amazing things I've done in my life. I've been blessed to do it four times. And I admire these guys, going back to when I started in 92, how hard these people work every week. Yeah, we're going to get into what a typical week is like for a second. But the first thing I want to ask you, I mean, this when you look back at this door and you think that uh, on, the, on the East Coast, 1130, 1135, that door opens and the guest host comes out. I mean, what do you liken that feeling to, Chuck, when you come out here to host Saturday Night Live? Uh, there's no feeling like it. It's, it's nerve-wracking uh, to walk out here and try not to stumble and get the words correct because it's, it's, Ernie, it's live. You know, people don't understand. I know we do live TV all the time. Yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> but I'm, not, I'm not sitting there. But to come out and, read, right now, to come out and read, read a monologue is totally different than you asking me, like, what happened on that play? Like, I've seen that play a thousand times. I've only done this monologue three times in my life, and it's always nerve-wracking. I mean, you, it's a bunch of people here, and you're trying to look at the, the, the prompter, and you just don't want to screw up. I mean, that's the toughest thing. We should lock the door when <laughs> yeah. he comes after the monologue. Yeah. And just, we also don't yeah. use prompter at all, famously. <laughs> no, it's, I think, I think, I think he's talking about cue cards, guy. probably. Yeah, my bad. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Those are yeah. cue cards, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cue yeah. Cards. If Shaq's at a teleprompter, don't read it. <laughs> yeah. I, you, I had some bad mistakes with teleprompter. They got screwed me at work one night, so... I just okay. wrote a couple of things in there, and, and he actually said on... Well, it wasn't on the air, but... Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I'm a dumbass, because yeah. it was on the teleprompter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway... That's classic. In, in addition to your roles on the show, you guys write for the show, and that whole process means this week is just loaded with, with work hours and staying up late. I mean, give me, can you give me a typical day... Colin well, it's, and, and it's nice writing for Charles too because he just disappears into character. You yeah. can never tell. It's like Gary Oldman in the Churchill movie. <laughs> You're like, that's Charles under yeah. there? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. He's my streep. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you're, you're not the first to say that. Uh, but, yeah. but how many hours you spend writing and how much do you have to change? And and given who the who the host is, is this like a real good fit? You say, oh, Charles in. I got a ton of stuff that we can Well, use. with Charles, it's a, it's a dream because it's like if it's good, it's good. And if, if he messes up, it's probably going to be even funnier. <laughs> yeah. So it's just <laughs> we honestly can't lose. He's just everybody loves watching him. You, you know, Ernie, it's different for me, though, because, like, when I shoot a commercial, you just read the lines over and over and you try to get the timing right. The interesting thing about this show, like, we work, uh, we, we put together the script on Monday, Tuesday. Oh, you put together the script? No, 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 yeah. they do. He's oh, stable. But, but, they, like, <laughs> they, uh, but they change it up yeah. until the show. Yeah, right. Like, so you have to relearn some things, but they make changes every single day. It's, that's the thing that's remarkable uh, about what they do to me. Is the writing the hard part? I mean, if you compare performing live, uh, as opposed to all the work that goes into making the show go. What's tougher? I think writing is sometimes harder because you don't, you have to, there's a lot of moving parts with it. For Charles, it's really, it's exciting for us because he's one of the naturally funniest people. So yeah. to come in, like people are, you know, we had a three week break and more people this three weeks told me they were excited to see Charles than you get for almost any host. So people, people yeah, gear true. up for it they know he's funny i get a, i got a lot of text messages i usually get a lot of text messages when anybody black hosts but this one <laughs> <laughs> this one specifically i got a lot of text messages for tickets yeah. I, I i gotta tell you something that's really funny ernie all, all my friends all of a sudden have become comedians <laughs> i have gotten i'm not exaggerating at least 50 texts from my idiot friends trying to come up with skits i said dude you a plumber, shut the hell up. <laughs> like, it, it, I mean, it's amazing. I had, I've had at least 50 texts 
from people. I said, dude, I don't write the scripts. <laughs> I mean, but it's been funny. All my friends all of a sudden think they're comedians. How do you explain the dynamic? Uh, and, and let's draw the analogy to a team that, that you've been on for much of your career and the team that you have here at SNL. Uh, the camaraderie. We're, we're less athletic. <laughs> this is, this like, is true. But I mean, yeah. you pull for each other. It's a competitive. It's a competitive thing, though, don't you? You want to be on. You want them to use your stuff. I mean, isn't, isn't there that element? I think. Yeah. I think. But also, you learn that a good show is a good show for everybody. So it, it, that goes out of the window once you know the show is funny. Everyone kind of gets in on being a part of it. So it, it, that changes the dynamic. Just yeah. like a team. Like when a team wins, you all won. So it's it's makes it a lot easier. I but know. you also do want to like play more and get yeah. Uh, if I get less uh, screen time than Jost, I riot. Yeah. <laughs> the, Inside. When I know some of our guys were able to sit in on the table read yesterday, right. and so does anybody ever get their feelings hurt when you get, get when you got a really good line, but then you don't get any reaction or ripple through the room? Uh, no. Yeah, I mean every week, kind of. I mean, you there's always something you think might be good, and then it just tanks, or something you think. Like I, I don't know about this, and then it works, and you're always, you're always kind of surprised. Yeah, you're, you're always surprised to find like you're not as funny as you thought you were. <laughs> so, especially, but, but it's, especially if you write something at 5 a.m. and you're yeah. making your friends laugh, and then it's the next day and no one's laughing at it. Yeah. I mean, that's common. Where's you got to read the whole thing, knowing that no more laughs to come. Yeah, if, yeah. Yeah. if they <laughs> didn't like that, they're not going <laughs> to like this. Yeah, oh no, we got four pages to go. <laughs> Where's the chemistry come between you two when you're doing the weekend update? And did you try to model your styles off any particular newscasters you saw, or was that ever something you wanted to do? Well, it's interesting because we don't talk to each other a lot on air. A little in, bit, yeah. A little bit. Like, we got to find kind life. of... Yeah, or, or in real life, <laughs> or, but on purpose in real life. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, like, on, on screen, it's different because it's like my turn, then his turn, then my turn, and his turn. So you got to kind of find that chemistry in the little gaps when the, when the camera changes or whatever. Yeah. You know? It's kind of fun to hear some talking off camera sometimes because yeah. you know that's how it really is. Like for you guys, the same. You know, like it, that's the rhythm you guys find. But you can't really do it in advance. You can't yeah. say, like, this is who you want to be. You kind of have to spend some time and figure it out. You've been on great teams before, Chuck. When you're now for the fourth time on this team for a week, how do you describe what you're getting into with this, with this bunch? You know, Ernie, I, I tell, you know, um, it's hard as they work. It's incredible. Like I say, I just do it for one week. Like tomorrow, let me give you an example. I start at 8 o'clock in the morning and I go to 2 in the morning. And that's just like, I'm just a host for one week. I can't imagine them having to do that week after week after week. Like, they broke the news to me gently today. <laughs> they says, uh, to, tomorrow you start at 8, and you finish up from 10 o'clock to 2 in the morning. And I'm like, man, that's a long day. And, I wanna read, and I'm not just blowing smoke because they're here. For, for these people to be able to do that week after week is incredible. Well, they were telling me they, no other host is made to do that. Yeah. But yeah. you, but you, some, you yeah, just allow them to do that. Usually, pretty light week. <laughs> <laughs> we call it the Chuck rules. Uh, uh, I, I like it. I like the, the Jordan rules, the Chuck rules. Chuck I like rules. that. Yeah. Uh, Colin and Michael, thank you so much. Yeah, I know it's a coming. long day for you, and you're sticking around and, and hanging with us. We appreciate it very much, and thanks for your hospitality. Hey, thank you. Take care. Take care of, I was care all, of our buddy. I here. was always wondering what that two pair of Shaq shoes they no, sold. Like it? <laughs> <laughs> Shaq had one pair, you had the other pair. <laughs> <laughs>